Hi, my name is Rachel Broden. I'm with Ramsey County Public Works, and I'm the project manager on the South Shore Boulevard Trail Design Study, which this video is a part of our first online open house for. I'd like to start this video by apologizing if you received a postcard or saw any advertising for our March 31st in-person open house. Unfortunately, between the time that that advertising went out and the open house was supposed to occur, the state issued the stay at home order due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and we had to cancel all of our in-person meetings. So I apologize if that caused any confusion. But now in place of that, we're having this online open house to, re to receive public feedback. So I'm gonna switch over and give a quick introductory presentation for the project. Okay. So as I said, this is the online open house for the South Shore Boulevard Trail Design Study. This open house is open from May 15th to May 25th, but a lot of the material that we're posting will be available after that. What we're hoping to get out of this is some public feedback on three proposed concept designs. Um, as part of this open house, we have posted those three designs in an aerial layout form. We have a wiki map where you can post comments along the corridor at specific locations. And we have a survey that can be filled out also. So this project is proposing a one and a half mile trail along South Shore Boulevard between White Bear Avenue and County Road F. You can see it on the south side here of White Bear Lake. So this map is showing how that trail is going to fit into some future projects in the area. Um, it'll be in the northern extension of the Bruce Vento Trail. It'll connect into the future Rush Line BRT system. And it'll help build out the Lake Links Trail, which is a planned trail that encircles White Bear Lake. The purpose of this project is to improve pedestrian and bicyclist connectivity, comfort, safety, and access across and along South Shore Boulevard from White Bear Avenue to County Road F. We've identified the main needs for the project as to establish pedestrian and bicycle facilities, um, to fulfill several local agency future bike and ped plans, including the connected Ramsey Communities Network, and to improve neighborhood connections to local trail systems and lake accesses. We've also identified some project goals and priorities. Um, we want to create a safe and comfortable walking and biking environment. We want to develop improvements that are financially feasible. We want to develop improvements that can be easily maintained. We want to maintain vehicle traffic mobility, and we want to minimize private property impacts. So here you can see our schedule. Um, you can see that the study was done in 2018. <coughs> But that study didn't come to a preferred concept conclusion and ultimately said that we needed to do more study to get to that point. So we've regrouped and now that's what we're doing in 2019, 2020. We're right here at our first open house where we're proposing three concepts. We're gonna get public feedback, um, choose a preferred concept and come back at a July 2020 open house. We'll take feedback there, we'll make some tweaks to design, make some changes. And then hopefully in fall, winter of 2020, we'll have a preliminary layout that's agreed upon by all. Uh, final design is gonna take us through 2021, and then hopefully we'll be constructing this in 2022. So this shows the existing corridor and what the roadway looks like today. As you can see, pedestrians need to walk on the shoulder and bikes will either need to take a lane or try to fit on that really narrow shoulder. Um, you do have standard 12 foot vehicle lanes and roughly four foot of shoulder throughout the corridor. There are a number of items and characteristics of the roadway that may be impacted by this project that we need to think about. Um, we do have overhead and underground utilities through here. The drainage is likely to change from what it is today. There's a lot of vegetation and plantings up against the existing roadway. Obviously the bicycle and pedestrian facilities will change. And parking may be affected, both residential parking that's right now really close to the roadway and parking along South Shore. So the design team has identified the following items as main considerations when looking at these concepts. Um, please think about these as you look at the layout and by all means suggest other considerations if you think we missed something or something may be more important. Um, we want you to consider the character of the road how design is going to affect the appearance and feel of the corridor, roadway circulation, um, how driving routes may change, the experience of the trail for both pedestrians and bicyclists, safety of all users in the corridor, 
how services might be affected, both mail, trash pickup, school bus routes, um, how the design is going to be maintained, how we're going to plow it, mow it, the cost of the proposed design, is it feasible at all to construct this, and how on-street parking may be affected or changed. So here are our proposed typical sections. As you can see on top, we have a one-way roadway option. This is pretty narrow and almost fits within our existing pavement width that you can see here. Um, this does only provide one direction of vehicular traffic though. We also have a two-way roadway option, which you can see here. Um, it provides both directions of vehicular traffic, but it is quite a bit wider than our existing pavement width. Um, we may need to acquire some property for this, and we may need to build a couple retaining walls where the um, slopes are very steep. Our third option is kind of a hybrid combination of these. Um, we're recommending a two-way roadway with trail from White Bear Avenue to McKnight Road, and then a one-way from there to the east. In a couple of locations, we might be constrained by a garage that's really close to the road or utility we need to avoid. And then we'll um, narrow down the boulevard and possibly get to this by having just a two foot concrete maintenance strip. Um, these are probably our most constrained typicals through the section though. It's a little hard to visualize what this will look like once it's actually built. So we've identified a number of locations where similar concepts have been used. Lake Avenue right in White Bear Lake is a good example. Um, it has both one-way and two-way vehicular traffic. It has the trail right up against the roadway and also separated by a grass boulevard and plantings. Um, we've also identified Mississippi River Boulevard in St. Paul as a good um, example. It's got a two-way roadway and a wide grass boulevard with trees in it that separates the road from the trail. And that's it. With that, I'd like to thank you for participating in the online open house. Please take a look at the layouts uh, right on the wiki map, fill out the survey. If you want to discuss something specific or need this information in an alternative format, let me know. My phone number is 651-266-7140. And my email is rachel.broughton at ramseycounty.us. And you can find this typed out on the project website also. With that, thanks for listening and have a good day.